anybody even which doctors when they want to give you power or ever they're gonna tell you go and sleep with virgins go and do what because sex by itself is an altar and it's a form of worship so uh, you get powers from there one receives powers one loses powers okay the third one is where one two people exchange their powers uh, and the sex within the marriage was meant to exchange powers uh, when a woman sleeps, it's not only her body that is open, but her soul and her spirit is open. She releases into you, you release into her powers. So that is the extent to which sex uh, is defined. Hmm. Yeah. What do you think about the concept of making love versus sex? Okay. Uh, Making love is meant for matured men. Sex is for boys. Well, why is that? Because uh, making love, it's a process. It doesn't happen in bed with a, with a five minutes or three minutes of ejaculation. Making love starts in the morning goes up to the evening <coughs> on the bed and the following morning that's what making making um love is making love starts with a text how are you doing i miss you i miss your smile that is process of making love and it takes real men you, you got to, to be very intentional to make love so uh, as she's at work very stressed you are also preparing massages a mind and emotions with your text. Uh, check up on her on lunch and maybe send something. Uh, during. So all you are doing, you are preparing the person's emotions for the moment. That is a process of making love. So once you come to the house, you don't just let her cook and you are there in the kitchen helping out and doing all this kind of stuff. And that process is you know, is making love. Once you go to the bed, it's all part of the... So making love doesn't just happen on bed. It happens from morning. By the time you get to the bed, even beyond the bed, because there are things to be done after making, making love in the bed. Okay? So there must be a process, and there are certain rules. For example, us where nature do taught, once you make love, you can't give it back to a woman. Oh, the woman shouldn't give it back to you. It means she's not satisfied, you're not satisfied. It's a form of insult. So after you're done making love, what you look at each other, you do the whole process beyond that so that she doesn't feel used. She's part of the process, you're part of the process, and you're navigating the boat together to the very end. That is fully satisfying. So that's the difference between sex and making love.